Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Nylav Mini PC Soundbar. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost thing extra. So let's get this open. So here we have the sound bar. Here we have the manual. So here are the specs. Power input is five volts at one amp. Power connection is auxiliary in 3.5 millimeter port. So it's powered by USB. And then the audio comes through the auxiliary cable. Here are the button functions. You press the O button for two seconds to turn it on and off. You can also press it for play pause. Then you can press the plus or minus for volume up and volume down. So it comes with two cables. It has a USB A to USB type C cable. And then we have an auxiliary cable. One end is at a right angle. The cables are the same length, let me measure them, and they're around 40 inches. So let's take a closer look at the speaker. So it has some heft to it, it feels really nice. It has some foam pads on the bottom for the feet. Looks like we have a port in the back. Here are the two ports. So we can plug in the USB type C here and plug the auxiliary in here. So I'm going to test this out on my iPad to start. So you can power this with your computer's USB port. You can use a phone charger, a wall outlet that has USB, an RV USB charge port, car port, uh, power bank, things like that. So I'll plug it in here. We can see the light is on. And I'll plug this into the headphone jack of my iPad. And I'll get some music playing here. So I can press the middle button to pause the music. Now that is just muting it on the device. It is still playing through the headphone jack and you will want to turn the volume up on your device. So I guess it's kind of hard to see here. It's showing up down here in this app, but you want to turn the volume up. Now, sometimes you want it all the way up. Sometimes you might want it at say 80%. I'll just turn it all the way up. You might want to turn it down on your device and then I'll hit this now. So now I can control the volume on the speaker itself. Now, if I want to turn it off, I'll hold the middle button down. So I'll turn it back on, then I'll hold it down. So we heard that, do, 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 do. And now the speaker's off. So if I press this again, it's not going to turn on. To turn it on, you'll hold that down. So when you get to the highest volume, it will beep to let you know you're there. So now connect it up to my computer. So I have my MacBook here. Now typically I would have this up on a stand. So to hook this up, I'll plug the auxiliary jack into the headphone port. I'll plug power into a USB port. And here now it's on. So now I can say play a video. Here I have a train. I'll go somewhere to the middle. And again, I want to make sure I have the volume turned up on the laptop itself. And now the audio is coming out of the speaker. So when I'm done, I'll turn it off and pull those out. So that's the Nyla V mini PC soundbar. I like the compact size of this. This would work well right in front of your monitor because most monitors will stand a few inches off your desk. So there's enough room for this. Now this has front firing speakers, so it's directed at your ears. I thought this sounded very good, had very full sound. Now it's not going to have a deep bass of a system that would have a subwoofer, but I thought it sounded very good for the size of the speaker. I like that this has a very clean look. I don't think this would clash with decor like some speakers could. I think this could fit in just about anywhere. It has this, the grill pattern goes all the way across and then you can see kind of where the speakers are. And it was super easy to use, just has three buttons. 
So this would work well at a computer. You could also use this near a small TV. Now I think this is more ideal when you're sitting in front of it since these speakers do fire directly up. Although if you're across the room and these are firing up, you're still going to hear it. It's plenty loud for that. You could also connect this up to like a portable CD player. You could potentially get adapters, hook it into a record player or other devices, an MP3 player. The 3.5 millimeter jack is pretty ubiquitous, except for when you get to the latest smartphones and with that you could use an adapter. But otherwise you can find this connector on many, many things. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.